Okay. And a week playing with a new toy. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> it's an angry bird. Angry birds. My son can imitate them very well. Hmm. Okay, let's go out and see if we can help Trevor with the RV. Yeah. He's offering to look at it. So the first job is actually getting this open. So all we have to do is push this down and then probably it will open again. Now one of the things that you can actually do if you have something like this on the road is check on the other side so you can see how it's supposed to be. But if we push this down it will probably open up again and we can put the side plate in. So part one succeeded. It's actually bent a little bit here. So we're gonna push this up and then it should be fitting again. And then the only problem is of course still this little part. But we have the part so we should be fine. Okay so we found out that this underneath actually took a little bit of a hit and bended it up. So when you look at the other part it's still rounded. And over here uh, it just bends up a little bit. So when we're home we're gonna replace the door and at that point we're gonna put this part back because we don't want to lose it on the way. So in the end I think it's pretty and we were pretty lucky. So it's only the door we have to replace and this part can just be put in place if they probably fix this. So pretty lucky not too much damage but just be careful when you're driving an RV. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Thursday morning. We just tried to fix the RV as you could have seen and we are now driving to Harwich. But first we're gonna visit two extra stores and I'm making a little bit of advertising for my good friend Trevor. So Trevor and his beautiful wife are over there. Hello guys. Hi. And of course Nadine and Anouik are there. Hi. So, we would like to thank you guys so very much for hosting You're us welcome twice. Welcome. <laughs> it's good. And good fun. They couldn't get enough of us. <laughs> So we're now going to drive, say goodbye, and this is the fun thing about being on the road, guys. Making new friends and meeting up with old ones. So, stay tuned. We're going to go on a road trip. Bye, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs> no, Bye. you have to drive us. Who? You. Me? Yes. Oh, Please, get in the van. <laughs> Bye, guys. As it is all of them. <laughs> So, why can't I stay here? It's no, so much fun with Trevor. We want to go home. Okay, we go home. Oh, women. And a small lunch break. So, what are we having? Uh, a bacon egg sandwich. And a you're couscous salad. Couscous and, and some sushi wrap. Sushi. And some tea. And, the coffee and will Frank be here has soon. time to do some email checking. Okay, we arrived in Colchester and we're gonna visit one of the stores and we're gonna take you inside. So this is Ace Comics. Awesome. This is going to be fun. Okay, so we had a big problem finding a parking space for the RV and we actually drove in here to turn and asked the guys if we could park here for a while and they said it was no problem. So we were very lucky. I had to park the car over here, actually on private property from a company. But as you can see, if you ask, some people are very nice. Okay, 
guys, we arrived in Harwich and we actually found out that during our travels, well, we lost a little bit more of the RV and luckily the rest is still there, but yeah, we lost this. Now, if something like this happens, there's actually, there are lights on there. So make sure that you use duct tape or heifer's tape to the, these two do not connect with each other, otherwise you can short something out. So Anna Week is now putting some tape on it to make sure that they don't hit anything of the metal and they don't hit each other. Okay, so we arrived in Harwich and the girls are actually getting some groceries for tomorrow breakfast because on the boat the breakfast, yeah, that, that isn't very good. So we're gonna have breakfast tomorrow in the RV and then we're gonna go on the boat back to the Netherlands. Now, one of the things that you guys ask me is how do you like the traffic in the UK? Is it very easy to drive? Um, well, depending on, of course, the places you are with a big RV, it's very difficult sometimes. It's very, very tight. Now, I never had any damage with the RV, so this is actually the first time we hit a small fence. And the frustrating part for me is it wasn't even necessary. It wasn't parking uh, space and, well... I just look too much forward. So overall, driving in the UK isn't really a problem. You have to remember you have to ride on you have to drive on the wrong side of the road. So that's actually on the left side. Now, we rented a car a few years ago, actually a few times, and that was terrible. Terrible experience. For the very simple reason the steering wheel is on the other side. And because I drive a lot of kilometers, I'm actually used to knowing how much space I have on this side and how much space I have on that side. Now if I just drive on the left side of the road, there's no problem at all, because those spaces are still the same. However, if you have a car that has the steering wheel on the other side, all bets are off, because now I have a lot of room on that side and little room on that side. Well, when I'm driving, I have a little bit of room on this side and a lot of room on that side. So you start hitting curves and, well, you can get damage. I, luckily again, I never drove any damage, also not with the rental cars, but it was frightening, especially in narrow streets. And one of the things, really, in the UK, roundabouts. If I listen to my navigational sometimes, leave the roundabout to go to the next roundabout, leave the roundabout to go to the next roundabout. We actually counted at one point three roundabouts connected to each other. It's like, guys, were they on sale that you just bought 10 roundabouts for the price of 5? It's, well, they're very, very safe. We're used to them in the Netherlands. But over here, guys, that's a lot of roundabouts. Okay, so in a moment we're going to drive to the campground. And then we're going to relax tonight. And tomorrow we drive back. Yeah, telephones can come in when you're doing a live video blog. Well, it's not live, of course, but we try to keep it as live as possible. So sorry for that, guys. So what I was saying, we're going to leave for the campground as soon as the girls come back with the groceries. And at that point, I think tomorrow we have to be up at 6 because check-in is at 8. Actually, it's at 7.45 till 8.15, but we want to be there at around... 7.30 because we want to make sure that we are in front of the boat. A few times we are in the back and as soon as you're back in the Netherlands you have to wait for a long time because there's always this, how would I say it nicely? There's always this joker that thinks that the whole ship can wait for him while he's having his dinner or whatever so he just let people wait. So make sure if you do boats like this you are in front so you can get off as easily as possible. Okay, so we're gonna go to the campground. Have some dinner, have a relaxing evening, go to bed early. And then tomorrow, back to the Netherlands, back to normal life. And on Monday, we have to pick up Wacom Cintiq. So, see you guys. And you're probably going to see a little bit of the barbecue we're going to do. We arrived at the campground where we are tonight. And it's more like a collection of well, homes that are here. And they actually told us that there aren't any facilities, but we can actually use this RV camper because it's empty. So I'm very curious to see how it looks inside. So follow me guys. It's number seven, that's my lucky number. So who knows? Cue the dangerous music. Oh, leaking faucet. Always ominous feeling. Hello. 
Anybody here? Nope. What is this? Please do not shut war rope door. Interesting. I almost feel like on an urbex location. Not a bit. It's all pink. And I think this will be... There we go. This will be the sh shower... Well... It's supposed to be the shower probably. And a very very nice luxurious restroom. Okay, now let's... Ah! A fire extinguisher. And a stove. Not very safe I think to cook on somehow. But okay. Let's see if we can shut up the faucet. There we go. That's much better. Okay, so this is our campground for today and this is the facilities. Again, no five star hotels, but you already knew that, right? Okay, so we're going to cook dinner now and I think I'm going to shower in our own RV. Hey guys, so you're cooking or preparing yes. the food of course. We bought some uh, English sausages. English sausages. And some vegetables. Yes, there's yes. a salad over here. Very, very good. Some mushrooms. And we have a salad which Nadine is creating. And we have like a stock brood. Stock brood. <laughs> That's Dutch. And a small piece of uh, salem. Salmon. And what is that? This is some cheese. Some cheese. And okay. So we're going to prepare everything in a few moments and then we're going to have dinner. And we actually said, wait a minute, so what do you give you? <gasps> strawberries. strawberries. They awesome. were for sale. They were for sale. But when something is bought by Anuik, it's always for sale. Right, Anuik? That's true. <laughs> okay, now some of you guys have asked us, how do we cook on the road? Well, we can of course cook in the RV, but it's much more comfortable and much more fun to cook outside. Now, we always call it barbecue, but it's actually not a real barbecue. We call it a scottlebry. I don't know if that term translates to every language, but a scottlebry is actually very, very simple in use. And you can even use it at home and it's a lot of fun. I'll show you how it works. What we actually do is we connect this gas to here. It's a very easy connection. And there we have one cooker, pan, and this part goes here, and the pen goes on top. And the only thing we now have to do <coughs> is light the fire over here, and you can have beautiful dinners. And you can actually throw everything in from vegetables to fish and uh, meat, uh, sausages, everything works. It's a little bit like walking, but differently. So this is how we cook, and I think it's now time to throw something in. Food, I mean. So we just threw in some oil, and with this you control the output. Don't put it up too high. Let the oil warm up, and just throw in everything you have. And you're done. Very easy. And it's very, very good. So guys, this is our last dinner in the UK for this year. Oh, and in Harwich. Are we going to come back next year? Yes, I hope so. Are we going to bring Nadine again? Yes. Awesome. So next year we're going to do the same tour again. We're going to go to different locations with Nadine and a week and me to teach workshops because you guys were awesome. We had three amazing workshops. The people were very, very nice. And I think we got some great shots. Don't you think so, in a week? Yes. And Nadine, of course. <laughs> I'm sure. Subscribe to our newsletter. Yeah, subscribe to our newsletter. Join us on Patreon, because thanks to Patreon this is all possible. And of course, join our YouTube channel, because these vlogs, although when we're not on tour, we will not update them daily, but I will try to do them at least once, two, three times a week. And if there's something interesting going on, we will update them daily. And because we have Photoshop World coming up, see you in Photoshop World, that's awesome. So we're gonna do a vlog then, and of course after that we're gonna go to Sweden, where we're also gonna vlog, but I don't know how the internet is there. But So keep looking at this channel, tomorrow we're gonna go home, and we're gonna retouch some images, I'm gonna show you how we get the Cintiq and how we set it up, and well, there will be a lot more stuff. And of course we're gonna show you when the RV is repaired again. So guys, thanks so much England, you were Bye -bye. awesome. Bye. And uh, thank you so very much for watching, guys. See you next time. <laughs> See you next time. And, of course, tomorrow there will be a new vlog about the way back.